As most of our viewers know, here at CBS, the eyes have it. And all those CBS eyes have long had a beloved champion. With Lee Cowan, we pay him a visit. CBS presents this program in color. Not everything changes on TV. You're watching CBS. That eye has been staring out of our TV screens ever since 1951. The inspiration was from an Amish hex sign that was on a barn in Pennsylvania. The all-seeing eye, which would protect them because it would be all-seeing. Now, if you're wondering if there's a keeper of such memorabilia around here, well, there isn't. Not officially, anyway. I'm making toast. <laughs> Which is where George Schweitzer comes in. And it's better to be CBS toast than to be toast. <laughs> right? So. If that sounds like a marketing slogan, that's because that's how Schweitzer made his living. This was when we were promoting Hawaii Five-O. Until this past spring, he was CBS's chairman of marketing. We, we collaborated with the NFL on so many things. For nearly three decades, his job, a big one, has been to get your eye on ours. And along the way, he turned his office into a mammoth scrapbook of his efforts. Even before I knew it, this it happened. Had, <laughs> this happened. So it just kind of grew and grew and grew, and the next thing I know, I was, uh, I was a hoarder. <laughs> Broadcasting cast its spell early on the Schweitzer family, CBS especially. His mom worked at CBS, he met his wife at CBS. Heck, as a young boy, he even appeared on CBS. <laughs> on the game show to tell the truth. And the rest is history, as we say. From news to sports to kid shows, he did it all. Here comes Captain Kangaroo. This is my uh, script binder from the legendary Captain Kangaroo. Oh my gosh. Um, if you hadn't collected some of this stuff, what do you think would have happened to it? Landfill? You think? I don't know. It was William S. Paley who founded the Columbia Broadcasting System way back in 1928. He's pretty much a legend around here, and as legend has it, this contraption was his. This is a custom-made remote control. It was attached <laughs> to the TV, which must have been pretty far away from his desk. This isn't Paley's TV set, but it's collectible nonetheless. The period certainly right. So they were rebranded as CBS Columbia brand uh, televisions. He's got stacks of old CBS radios, too, broadcasting nostalgia. But all of the hardware meant nothing if people weren't tuning in. And that was where Schweitzer shined. The viewer's smart. They know the good stuff, and they know the not-so-good stuff. No matter how good a marketer you are, you can't sell nope. schlock. No. Nope. You can, but you can only do it once. <laughs> you can sell schlock once. He helped launch 28 seasons of television shows. And now, an important announcement from this network's new Late Show host. I'm Dave, and I want to be your TV friend. Including David Letterman's move from NBC over to CBS. I check this now with the CBS attorneys, and legally, I can continue to call myself Dave. So I... Selling Letterman's sarcasm instead of being afraid of it worked wonders. He was true to his brand. He was true to his brand. And that's what made Dave Dave and that make him so, makes him so special. Don't you think that uh, CBS eye thing is kind of creepy? There's science and art and then the middle. And that's the magic part. That's the magic part. These are the famous eggs. In 2006, he gambled. Several survived from the 30 million that we did. Deciding to market CBS's entire fall lineup on eggshells. Yep, real eggs. Leave the yolks to us. Leave the yolks to <laughs> us. CBS Mondays. He dubbed it advertising. This was successful because why? Because it was so different. You have to be different to be successful. You have to be different to get people to pay attention. And pay attention they did. His office is a tribute to that, the breadcrumbs of a long career, one that should have been celebrated, but that was not to be. George Schweitzer's 47 years in his job came to an end this past April, right in the middle of the nation's lockdown. No party, no farewell, but he'll be back. He's currently working from home 
as a special advisor for what is now Viacom CBS. Generations turn, and that's just part of the business. That's just part of the business. This will always be with me. CBS is never far from me. The man with a passion for TV history can surely, after all these years, now count himself a part of it too.